Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to share with you a technique for getting model or user parameters into a drawing text note. There are numerous scenarios where this technique could be used. What I'm going to do is a scenario where I have a bunch of fillets on my design that I'm not going to mark on the drawing because they're so numerous. And then I will then just put a note on there that all unmarked fillets are a specific radius. And then I'll actually have that link to the parameter that actually is the radial value. So just to show you here, what I have is I have a user parameter that I called fillet radius. I have a bunch of fillets on my design. Here's that fillet feature. That fillet feature is using that fillet radius parameter value. So when I jump over to my drawing, you can see I've got the fillets here. I'm just going to go ahead and create a regular old text note. And I can type here unmarked fillet radii is. And then I want to link to that value. So here I've got these drop down boxes where I can say what drawing or file that's coming from. It's actually called parameter insert into drawing. That's the name of the file that I'm using. Then I have the option of okay, is it a model parameter or user parameter? I showed you just a second ago, it's a user parameter. Then this drop down shows me all the user parameters and actually the actual value at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that one. I have the option to set the precision. Once I have that all set up, it's just a matter of telling it to add that parameter where my cursor was in that note. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You can see it adds that value there. I'll say inch. I actually changed this to say R. And we'll say OK. So now just to prove to you the link between there, if I come back over here and I change that parameter down to, let's say, a 32nd, those fillets change. Come back over here. And you'll see that it's actually changed that value and it's still adhering to the precision that I had set previously. So it's not that difficult. There's a lot of different scenarios where this might come in handy. It definitely saves me from having to change the parameter in the file to get the, the, the model to change and then come over here and change the text that I might have just straight keyed in. It's going to be a dynamic link there until I change that relationship or eliminate that relationship. Well, that's all for now. Hopefully you found this information helpful and something you can apply in the near future. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at my email address there on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.